<laughs> Hello. Uh, uh, uh. I literally just woke up. Like, I literally just woke up. Arise from my bed, put my contacts in, and then grab my camera. And right now I'm about to drink some coffee. This has been my new morning routine. Literally like waking up right away and then grabbing coffee because I love the taste of it. But I'm so excited to try a new one. I normally eat the caramel macchiato one and this is the vanilla latte. And oh, I was thinking about the last night before I was falling asleep. They have the worst freaking little tin foil kinish. Okay, I actually really enjoy them. This week, I really want to get all my shit together, feel healthier, start making dinners again. I don't really know what to call this video. I've been going on a lot of trips recently and then right after I got back, I got so freaking sick. And I'm still kind of like, I'm definitely over being extremely sick, but I just need to get my shit together. So look at all the fruit I got. Our goal is to eat every single piece by the time it goes bad. Plus I got a lot of good meals too, and JD's on his health cake, so. Breakfast. Look how big those motherfuckers are. Mm. Breakfast is served. I know. Basically a pretty speedy chef. I don't lollygag like you. Bro. Well, thank you. Isn't it cute? Yeah, I know. We're gonna say nothing about how fucking cute this is. We do not eat out these plates every day. Say, this is a special occasion. You definitely just did it for the vlog. No, the but did it because I wanted to make it look cute. For the vlog. <laughs> loser. <laughs> It reminds me of like a breakfast that they would have in like fairy world. <laughs> Just put a little makeup on for the first time in like a week. Feels great. Bon Bebu sent this heated brush roller over and I was really terrified because I'm like, I have no idea how to use this thing, but I'm obsessed. You know, it works definitely the best with like blow dried hair, like fresh out of the shower. And this is definitely like day four hair. <laughs> but we're gonna see if it still works. Booyah. Look at that curl, look at that curl definition. It just gives like a perfect subtle flare at the bottom where it looks like you did your hair, but also like, it took you five minutes and I'm like obsessed. And then look at the curl, look at the curl. We're on the last one. Oh, so cute. Oh, don't mind the greasy hair. Because we got a hat to fix it. Was that a sleigh or was that a fucking sleigh? I live, laugh, love for a good fucking Caesar salad. Seriously, like I could run through a million of these bags a month. I think I have them at least three to four times a week. They're so good though, they never get old. They're so fresh. You guys, all I've been vlogging about really is food. <laughs> Should I just continue that? And then I can title it, what I eat in a week or <laughs> something. I don't even know. I don't even know what this vlog is gonna be, so. This one didn't come with black pepper. And the best thing is you're gonna have half of it now and save half of it for another day. Mm. Mm -hmm. I was absent on YouTube last week and that was, well, as I've said, because I was sick. And I was working on so many other things, so many things in my life going on that I was like, you know what? It's fine to not post for a week. Look at this chicken beauty. Chicken lime rosemary situation and some Brussels sprouts. I really am making this video like a food video. Should I just keep it like that? Might as well show you guys the best wine ever. Barefoot bubbly Moscato. Oh, so good. It's a perfect mix of like bubbly wine. It's actually divine and you like crave it. I think Dance Bob's reunion. And she would do it at any cost. Really? Being like, I can't believe yeah. I think about it and happen. I know. That. Yeah. Like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, I can't believe that wouldn't have happened now. Let's go grocery shopping. I don't need like a full restock, but I definitely need some key items to make me happy. <laughs> so let's go to Trader Joe's and then to Target. Broccolini could literally go through a million packets of these a day. Much different from broccoli, I swear. It tastes completely different. I got this pack last week, which I saw in the vlog. Literally, it was amazing. We fed it for three people. It's honestly, I feel like good for two. We all could have had more chicken. But this is the best tasting chicken ever. Highly recommend. Spatch lemon rosemary chicken. Best coffee in bulk. Literally 
this river is killing. I'm gonna get two of them. I'm getting these for a meal tonight. This is a snack I forgot about, but it's definitely not underappreciated. And I love wheat thins with it. I'm making some hard boiled eggs right now. I freaking love having these just like on hand so every morning, like, I don't have to think twice and I can have a good old egg. Dude, I went to the grocery store. Thank you. Thank you. I went to the grocery store today at like 9 a.m. and it was actually the best thing ever because it was not packed. I literally got like front row parking everywhere, but I did not eat before I went. So now I'm really hungry and I can't wait to have one of these damn eggs. I put them in this little cute bucket bowl and I just have them in my fridge and it's so cute. I just realized that you can see all of the bottles of vodka from my friends this past weekend. This is criminal. They're not mine. I hate when people, guys, I have just like, I don't know, some type of cleaning disorder or something, but when someone leaves something at my house, I cannot see it in my sight. So I will literally put it in my guest bathroom back there. And all my friends know, like they're like, oh, if I forget anything, I know it's in the communal bathroom because I hate fucking seeing it. I hate seeing shit everywhere. So those are gonna go in the communal bathroom. Okay, it's later in the day. I actually did my nails in between the times that we've spoke and I'm obsessed. I haven't done fun nails in a long time because I wanted my nails to grow out. So I was just doing like plain colored nails and it feels so good to have a fun design. Like I, when I look at these nails, I feel like it gives like eclectic. Anyways, my girl hungry. So we are going to make her her little dinner. I don't think I've shown YouTube what I've been feeding Miss Shortcake lately. First things first, I'm obsessed with this slow feeder. It's all silicone, so it's nice and easy for her tongue to like lick in between here. It's from Puppy Well, and it's honestly a perfect size when you like fill it up with a bunch of food. So first I start with a half cup of her dry kibble. I try to get stuff with high meat because a dog needs a meat, you know. They start eating from the beginning of the time they were eating other animals. So they need that meat, girl. Then, I wish I had all of my fun things that I normally give her, but I switch off some things every once in a while because since I feed her stuff, such fresh food, it goes bad after like 10 days. And so like, I don't have it for that long. And the dog food store is like so far away from my house. Sorry, this is a long tangent. I hope you guys have a dog so you can learn something. I love the Evan Gears brand. They have like a bunch of different combos, but right now I'm feeding her turkey, potato and carrot dinner. I do like four scoops of this. This is like one of her favorite parts. She loves canned dog food. And at first I thought canned dog food wasn't that good for like your dogs, but it's genuinely so much better than dry dog food apparently. I have been going down the deepest spiral of like what the fuck to actually feed your dog. Yeah, I've learned a lot. I do a tiny sprinkle of bee pollen. This really helps for allergies, especially because Shorty is like so sensitive to the allergies here. The pollen is in the state of Arizona though because of all the stuff in bloom right now. Also throwing in some blue berries. This is actually a horrible day to show you guys what I feed her because I'm out of everything. My peas and carrots I normally put in here and I'm out of my goat's milk that I rehydrate this stuff with, but it's whatever. I'm obsessed with the brand Skylar Treats. This is like a chicken heart and Shorty loves them. They're freeze dried so they don't smell weird. They look a little freaky, but you know. I'm also giving her some rabbit cubes. Also freeze dried, also from Skylar's Treats. And some digestive enzymes to sprinkle on top. Lastly, I literally just do a shot full and rehydrate the dry dog food. And she's ready. I taught her a new trick, watch this. Sit. Yum yum. Good girl. These are the best slippers ever. They're from Minnetonka. Like I'm actually, I've never been more obsessed with the slipper in my life. They're most comfortable shoes ever. And they just gave me a code, you guys. Like it's Maya B20 for 20% off. I cannot express, they have a pink color, like a light pink color. And I want to get it for when like I eventually buy a new house because I am just so obsessed with them and I truly wear them every single day. They're just actually the cutest things ever. Now she goes to town. She already ate the chicken heart and both the rabbit cubes looks like. I'm about to put you on the best, easiest meal ever. Start out with Doritos. If you guys haven't heard this, I'm pretty sure it's called Doritos taco salad, but I could be wrong. I don't know, my mom used to always make it for us when we were younger and it was like my favorite meal ever. Or one of my favorite meals, I should say. Lori Beebe cooking up some fire meals. I crush up a bunch of Doritos first. Then before you do all this, you're gonna wanna cook some taco meat. I just put some ground beef in a pan with some oil. Let that cook up. Once it's almost done cook, add your taco packet. And then it's done. I'm gonna add a couple scoops of this. 
And then I also have a bunch of extra for like tomorrow or the next day that I want to make food. Then you basically just add your favorite taco toppings. So I'm doing some lettuce, some chopped up onion. I bought pre-chopped because I was not about to chop that. And then a little bit of cheese on top. This is the part that transforms it. I'm not getting the taste of this, it's fucking immaculate. Creamy French dressing. Some people put it in like normal salads, but whenever I think of this stuff, I just think of taco salad. And don't be afraid to, you know, drench it in this. It's literally so good together. So you guys definitely need to go try it out if you haven't. My friend Jalen's gonna come over and we're gonna watch the Met Gala. I'm so excited. Let's make some juices. I've been so excited. I've been waiting for this pineapple to get ripened. And it she finally is. I love making juices. Honestly, I wish they weren't as much work because I would do them so much more often. But if I'm gonna be honest, they're expensive because all these fruits and vegetables, like, they're not cheap. Plus, you have to clean the whole juicer. But once you have the juices, it's so nice and they're so fresh and like, so fire. I like to pre-make a bunch of them too because they stay good in the fridge for like four days. And it's awesome. I'm gonna wake up and have a little juicy juice. I feel like such a put together like mom when I make juices because my mom would always do that and I'm like, you're so put together for that. <laughs> do you want a little hat shortcake? pretty good amount of fruits and veggies. Ugh. I got this bad boy on TikTok shop like seven months ago. Best thing ever, honestly, great quality. <laughs> got my stations ready, let's go. First juice done, I did a green juice, so it was basically all celery, a little bit of Cucumber and a little bit of apple. Pour her in my little jar. Now let's do a fruit one. Ooh. Wow, that was actually a perfect fit. Wait, why is this the most beautiful color ever? Now let's make some ginger shots. Look at all that rubbish. One, two, three. Take the extra right now. Mmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, that definitely has ginger in it. Look how cute they are. Oh my god. Now with all my extra fruit, I'm gonna make just a juice for myself right now. Wow, that actually made a lot more than I thought. I'm gonna pour some in a glass right now, but I'm definitely gonna have extra. Oh, that's such a pretty color. I'm just gonna put it in another one of these. Taste. Actually, so good. Like, you cannot mess up a juice. You can throw out any fruits together and they all taste good. This is actually so fuck. The frothiness of it, too. Mm. Well, guys, have I cooked enough for you guys yet? I hope you guys enjoy this video that I literally wasn't even planning on filming. And then I started filming and then I was like, wait, um, suddenly the only thing interesting in my life this week is my food. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if not. Stay tuned for some exciting upcoming videos and I will see you guys next week.